Let's go to the scripture today. 1 Peter 2, 13 and 14. Be subject for the Lord's sake to every human institution, whether it be to the emperor as supreme or to governors as sent by him to punish those who do evil and to praise those who do good. I like looking at the, ver the message version where it says, I let us be presented as good citizens by showing respect. Make the master proud of you by being good citizens. Respect the authorities, whatever their level. They are God's emissaries for keeping order. Our world can easily be diversive and far from peace and unity. In the verses in 1 Peter 2, 13-14, the words point us to look at how to promote respect towards those in authority to be a reflection of our Lord's love. If we speak and act in truth, we can reflect what is good according to God's goodness. I know we may find it some difficult times ahead as we face this election year. I hope and pray we can keep our focus on unity and truth as we interact with each other. When we show respect and goodness to each other, we can live as examples of citizens in a world that leans into God's wisdom and grace. It is in the chaos that we can intentionally pray and lift our hearts to God for guidance and wisdom. We may at times feel discouraged at the state of our world, and yet we can pray with a sincere heart and join together to pray for mercy, love, and grace for our community and our world. In early May, our campus focused on a time of prayer for key community po points of reference. We prayed for our city hall, police, library, and other services near our campus. We prayed for our church as well. I encourage us all to join in prayer for the authorities in our context, in our church, and in our community.